All right, guys, welcome back. Man, We what was this, like, part 30 now? Good gracious. Uh, thank you guys for all the likes, everything on these videos. really means a lot to me. I've been going ham since the game first came out. They just had a patch as I'm recording this. It's the 1.05 patch. I have no idea. They said it's supposed to fix some of the stability issues, the frame rate, stuff like that. Uh, I guess we'll see here in a second what it's all about. So, all right, guys, I love you. You want more of this game quickly, you know what to do. And let's get this. Okay, I'm following you. So you have like one story mission bumped up four other ones. Like, that's crazy to me. This is where the horde was, I believe. Yeah, I gotta ask you something. Could I stop no, you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. You got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the army. Why were... You want to hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns? Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff, right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. When I came home, I don't know, I uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and... Um, to farewell? You grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this, by this old guy named Jack. And uh, he ran the club. He, uh, well, the press, that's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack, I remember Boozer talking about it. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. Never say a word, man. I learned that from Goodfellas. <laughs> that movie's so good. The very end of that, though. Yeah, it's right down there. Always gets me. Oh, shit. There had to be one, right? Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need, and we'll finish it up then. There will be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay. But I want to show you something first. Oh, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Let's just say that it's one of the few things that I don't regret. Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. 
They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what, hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. O'Brien still uh, needs to give us some information. Haven't heard he's been kind of radio quiet for a while. I love the blue on the bike. I might change it though. Something a little different. Just gotta keep it fresh every few videos, you know. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? <laughs> nice to see you too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? I kind of feel like uh, Ricky likes Deacon a little bit. Just maybe, maybe just a little bit, I don't know. I was in my classroom when, uh, Moment of solicity. You know, Wait, where's that at? Alright, gonna go ahead and continue where we left off last time. There's apparently a few things. I'm gonna go do the I remember quest line. Uh, that's way over there, actually. Not not too bad. What are we at on gas? Oh, man, we definitely need some more. I uh, also need to get ammo and everything. So somebody told me there's a few tips. Uh, I'm no I'm no expert hey, uh, at the game, obviously, but how's it going? There's a few things in the hey, game boy. that I'm still how's learning. Life? And uh, first things first, let me grab this. Guy I really want this gun. Said it was good. Tempted to go ahead and buy this as well, but I don't want to use it. Uh, I don't think I will for right now. This one looks awesome though. The Talon Seven. Good gracious. All right, hold on. Let's get this. Yeah, good. Go ahead and top off on everything. I'm going to change, like, the paint color of the bike, everything like okay. that. I just want to occasionally do stuff like that. <sighs> Keep things go. nice and fresh. Locker, are right, okay. we're good. That's pretty messed up. But, yeah, apparently okay. you can get gas See from the ya. gas stations. Apparently there's something you can do. You pull up next to it. I don't know if that was a joke or if that's, like, actually... Like, I, I haven't seen you that yet. Bike? But it would make sense. Stuff. Oh, that's good. Uh, let's go to paint. I kind of just want to go with a clean finish. I don't know. What's the one on the far end over there? Hold on. Oh, that looks nice. That actually kind of goes with the theme of the game a little bit. I'm going to go with that one. You? Nice and clean. I'll be here if you need me. Uh, did I? I didn't get gas. That's the whole point of that. Hold on, let me Probably draining a lot refuel, of gas the broken road. and I'll refuel. repair as well. Okay. Uh, they've been slowly... I mean, the fact that we've already had several patches since the game even dropped Later, is amazing to me. I don't know if... I mean, it's obviously not going to be completely just fixed overnight, but the fact that they are working on it says a lot, so... I just think, you know, it, it's funny... A lot of you seem to agree, at least from the, the so, video uh, comments that I have seen, 
Uh, that the game kind of got torn up by reviews, but the game's not that bad. Like it's not as it's not a five hey, out of ten. There. You know? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh... Hell. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Ad. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So what are you gonna do? Uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain and get his bike. That's a long way to go on foot. Let's figure something out. Are you, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Deacon out. I like the storyline so far for Ricky as well. All right, here we go. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. I, I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too I close. I was going to call. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's, it's going to take time. I guess you have to be patient. Yeah? I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to place a tracker on your chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white space suit? Yeah, anything else? <laughs> yeah, trying to take your ass shot off. Your uh, calm was still open. Using the uh, rock, it's actually a good way to, uh, even if you can't see anything. Yeah. Right, there we go. You can kind of use it to highlight the enemies. It's kind of ironic, you know? Let me just go ahead and take some of that. Somebody nearby, but I don't know where. We got any of those MREs in the chopper? Are you fighting again? Close to noon. <laughs> I still haven't seen a comparison of the siphon filter roll yet. All right, that's what they are over there. <laughs> what the hell are we doing out here anyway? Might be better to hop in the house, or can I? I don't think I can actually. I'll go that way. I'll go around this side. Too damn long. That's how long. Here we go. Field note two zero six eight. Another subject exhibiting the morphology of stage two infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted. Fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than. Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Try to get that guy prepped a little bit. You're supposed to follow him, or this person right here. <laughs> okay. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... <laughs> recently put it on. Shit, I thought 
they were all, you know, that shit crazy. Yeah, they are, but just as some late stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage two Who's virus that? infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. Why'd that guy run? Make me nervous a little bit. Oh, there's another one coming. I should really get into this house. Oh shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but most freaks are so caked with shit. I heard something. This is disgusting. Yeah, well, again, put a pair of pants on that one for two years. Jesus. I wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live. Oh my god. Jesus, you don't think they're aware of. This is probably the safest spot. Good gracious. Nice. What it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? Did you hear that? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> like, the roll's really effective in this little section. I don't use it much in the O'Brien, game, but like... There. Hold on. Ryan. Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and no, I didn't catch your name. I had a crazy theory just now. What if O'Brien, because he was the only one with Sarah, what if they had a little thing going? And maybe he cares about her also, but doesn't, I don't know. Runners. That's just a random theory. That's some, like, fan fiction right there. <laughs> hey, Ricky, can you send some men to go out and get him? Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. And the air guys got to him just before his Oh shit! Hey, where's all oh, my knife? I was like, where's my weapon at? Yo, that thing is. Need that? Woo! Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if he didn't tell him where the seeds were. Oh, so weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? <laughs> See you, Ricky. I love how this game just keeps going. I like never know when to put it down. I'll play it for a couple hours at a time, and then I'm like, okay, when I end it, I was gonna either like about to start a mission or something else, you know? Oh yeah, Mike, I found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're gonna have a try. Get a chance to tell his side. That's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Deke. Why don't you give them to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. We got it covered. Iron Mike out. Where it is so far away, but it's leading me through here like I'm supposed to go here first. That is kind of odd. Everybody need to stop and get gas anyway, so it works out. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. It's so far away. Hold on. He's my brother. Oh, we got to go get his bike. That's right. Oh, man. Well, could I just fast travel there? I think I can. 
But I'm gonna need gas to do that first. Is there a job available? Oh, there is! Hold on, let's talk to her. Uh, I'm not gonna do it yet, but... She'll at least Deke, tell me what's going on. A group on. of men rode in, shot up the gate, and when we wouldn't let them in, they rode off. Ah, shit. Which direction? Uh, they headed west, but they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning another attack, so I need you to take a look. <sighs> okay, right. Yeah, I'll handle it. Thanks, Deke. That's it. Here for your bike? No idea. Looking for some stuff. All right, I got you. All right, we're good. Uh, Let me know if you need like anything. It looks like to get over there. I think I can fast travel. Let me try. Hold on. Yep, I can. It's gonna take all my gas too. All right, here we go.